Hi, I'd like to demonstrate the new design of my circuit board. I've done a few different designs. This is one of my early designs. It has one multiplexer on it and two 10 pin connectors. It works quite well. The next design can support three multiplexers, but some of the pads are joined and tracks are joined, so I'm not using it. The design after that is a little bit smaller and more compact than this design. So this design has an external switch on it, six 10 pin connectors and three multiplexers on it. The design after that can support three 20 pin connectors, has the same functionality as this board. I haven't put any components on it yet. So this board is designed to plug into the Arduino FIO. This is the Arduino FIO. It has 12 digital pins that you can use and 8 analog pins. You can connect 8 sensors to the 8 analog pins. If you want to connect more than 8 sensors, you will need a multiplexer. This particular multiplexer can expand the number of pins by 16. I'm using 3 multiplexers, which lets me connect up to 48 sensors to my board and to the Arduino. I'm using a Bluetooth B to create a Bluetooth connection to my laptop. It's a two-way serial connection, so I can send the reading from the sensors to my laptop. And I can also send data from my laptop to the Arduino. I'm just plugging the Arduino into my board. Now I'm plugging the Bluetooth B into the Arduino. I've made a cable that plugs into my board and it plugs into a breadboard. So I'll just plug that in now. So I've plugged it all in, and I've plugged in the battery, I'm going to turn it on now. I'm using a terminal program to connect via Bluetooth to the Arduino. So that's connected now. So each multiplexer is using four digital pins to control which channel it connects to. So the four digital pins send four binary digits to the multiplexer. Using four binary digits you can count from 0 to 15 and that controls channel 0 to 15 on the multiplexer. So on the display here it's a seven segment display with a decimal point which is eight segments. Two Eight segment displays mean 16. So I've got each segment on the channel in the multiplexer. So when I press A, that's making that LED come on on channel 0. When I press B, that's making that LED on channel 1 come on. And the same goes for the letters A to P, the first 16 letters. So when I press Q, each light comes on one by one. And when I press V, it will count from 0 to 99. So the multiplexer can only connect to one channel at a time. So only one LED at a time is on, but to make a number you have to, that one comes on and then another one comes on and then another one comes on, it's very quick. It has a um, temperature sensor on it, so I'm displaying the temperature now. That black thing there, that's a thermistor and that's displaying the temperature on the display here.
I'm going to use a hair dryer to warm it up and show the temperature rise on the display. So you can see the temperature is drying up. You take the hair dryer away, the temperature goes back down again. And I bring the hair dryer back. Now I've got a humidity sensor on there, so I'm going to take it out of temperature mode. And now I'm going to show the humidity on the screen. So when I blow on the humidity sensor, the humidity will rise and show an increase on the display. So when I stop blowing, the humidity goes back down again. On my board here, there's a blue LED and another LED. The other LED is not on. I'm using that LED as a light sensor to detect light. So now I'm, I'm showing the reading from the light sensor on the display here. It's showing AL, which means ambient light. Now I'm going to use a torch to shine a bright light on it and now it says BL for bright light and I take the torch away it goes back to ambient light and when I cover it with something black it shows LL for low light and I take that away it goes back to ambient light when I shine a torch on it again it goes back to bright light And when I cast a shadow over it, it shows low light. When I take the shadow away from it, it goes back to ambient light. I hope this video helps other Arduino users. Thanks for watching.